everyone welcome we are really excited to have you join our chci alumni connect platform i am going to be helping you understand the platform as well as learning how to create an account so let's get started so when you log on you're going to put on the uh, link you're going to put chci alumni.org and when you press enter you should be taken to this page uh, this is just a little bit more information on it if you're curious about it. But to create an account, you're just going to click join now. So when you do that, you have some options to sign in with LinkedIn, Google, Facebook. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the email just because it's easier and more common. So when you click on register with email, it's going to ask you some questions here. If you already have your photo, you can upload it right here. Um, but you're just going to fill out some information. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in mine. And then here you get to choose the affiliation. So if you're an alumni, you're going to select that. If you're currently a participant, you will select that um, and so on. You can also select multiples to say you're already an alumni, you've completed one of our programs, but you're currently in another program. You can also select that. So that is completely fine. And in here, that's where you're going to put your email. And then you're going to create your password. It's got to contain eight characters. So let me try something else. And then once you get those two check marks, you're good. You uh, can choose your pronouns as well and include your maiden name. Um, as well as your date of birth. As you can see, some of these are required. So if it has an asterisk, then it's required. If not, then it's not necessary. To use the calendar feature, you can go back and then select your year. And this is my birthday. And then here, you're able to select your program. So let's say, I mean, I completed the fellowship. So you're going to scroll down and see which program uh, is relative to you. And you're going to also include your program year. And you can actually search for it. There it goes. Say if you've done multiple programs. So say, for instance, some people have done an internship and fellowship where they were a scholarship recipient and they also did some other program. You can add multiple programs. So once you fill it in, see. So say you've done three, which you actually had some. You can fill out three um, and say you accidentally added one, you can remove it. So here are our terms and agreements. You have to check it before continuing and then you press continue. And so there's different scenarios in this next step. Say if you don't get this, that means that your email was already in our system. So you will just get automatically pre-approved. However, if you're using some type of email that we don't have connection to, it's not in our system, um, then the platform is not going to know that. So you are going to be sent an email. And let me pull up that email, see if I got it. So this is the email that you should receive. And you will follow this link. And here you are able to continue filling out your profile. So if you don't get that, check your spam folder. It might be sent to that. However, if not, then there's an option to resend the, the verification email. So just bear with the system. It might take a little bit of time. Um, but if you have issues with that, feel free to reach out with us. And here you're going to fill out more information. So as, again, you can see there are required areas you have to fill out and others are optional. Um, some of this information is, well, most of it that you might feel is something you don't want others to see is will not be shown on your profile due to our privacy reasons. Um, so for instance, we ask for mailing address that will not show up on your profile public to others, only admin and people in CHCI um, who have admin rights are able to view all that. So you're gonna go ahead and fill that information out. And again, it's only whatever is on the asterisk. So 
So I filled it out just so we didn't have to go through all the details, but when you are filling out this page, I want to make a couple notes. So the first thing is you're able to search by your company. So for instance, I work for a company called Eaton and it is pre-populated, so you can go and select. However, if you have a company that isn't pre-populated, you can also type it in and that is perfectly fine. So for example, I just put example and it doesn't give me any error. But if your company is pre-populated, we do ask that you select that one just because it makes it easier grouping people by companies. Um, similar things for the other ones. And now when it comes to education, you are able to look up your university. So the way it's divided is there's undergrad institution as well as graduate institution. The graduate is optional just because not everyone has it. Um, but for alumni, they're graduate um, or their undergraduate information, they should have that. So you're able to look through your college, say if your college is not there, you are able to find other. And we ask you to type it into this one. Um, but again, if it is populated, we do ask you to select that one as it makes it easier for purposes of just finding other alumni with similar backgrounds and fill out the information as much as you can. Um, similar, if you are unable to find your major, you can select other, um, so in this case, other science. First, I have to deselect this one. And then you can try, try to write your other major. And then your address, again, like I said, you, we ask you that you do fill it out as we want to have better track of our alumni in terms of where they are geographically. Um, and again, this information is completely confidential. Anything within open questions will not appear in your profile public to others. It's just for admin and CHCI um, admin purposes. So then once you hit continue, it will take you to willing to help. So this will help us with our mentorship program on the platform. It will allow us to connect you to other alumni, um, depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking to be a mentor, um, this is the section that you'll fill it out. Um, so check whatever you're open to. And then if you don't want something, you can uncheck it. And just the opposite, um, if you are looking for a mentor, um, so you plan to be a mentee, you can answer these questions on what you're willing to do, um, and you can uncheck some as well, and you click finish. So like I said, it depends on if your email is connected to our system. So say you went to an alumni event or at the end of your, one of your programs, you ended up putting an email. If you used your school email and you don't have access to it and you're using your new personal email and we have no trace of it, um, then the platform will not automatically approve you. So if your system or your email is up to date with our system, it'll automatically approve. But if not, then admin is going to get a message to approve you and we'll look at you up to make sure that you are an alumni as we are planning to use this exclusively for our alumni community. Um, and once you get pre-approved, you should get an email. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I will show you what that email will look like. So once you are approved, um, you should get an email similar to this. And uh, that means that you are able to go to Alumni Connect. So you can open it up. And this is what you are going to see um, coming into the platform. So it's similar to any like social media, um, very similar to like LinkedIn or Facebook, where you're gonna have a homepage and you're gonna be able to see the main feed. Um, some posts might be pinned depending on the week if we have some type of prompt we want our alumni to engage with. So for instance, in our welcome posts, you'll see that we are listing different things you can do on the platform to be a bit more engaged within the community. Um, so that's how you view photos on the posts. You are also able to like messages and comment on them. So you can And then you just post it very similar to like any social media. You can include emojis if you want as well. Um, so that's how you interact with the feed. On the right side, you'll see these things called widgets. So 
these are just different alerts, recent things that most likely happened within the past couple of days. So for instance, a lot of jobs are updated on our job board. So you'll see recent jobs. Um, you can also click on view jobs and it'll take you to the job platform. Recent members that have joined the platform. Here are instructions, instructions on how to download the mobile app. So if you click it, it will take you to this PDF. We're able to get more instructions on how to do that, but that will be shown in a different um, video on how to download if you have questions. Here are links to our social media platforms, so LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. You just need to click on the widget and it will take you directly to um, the social media account. So that's kind of the home page. Um, and now we have different features. So the first one I want to go over is directory. This is where you're able to find different alumni that are already in the platform. So here you can find by your location. Um, you can find by similar industries. Um, mentoring is another feature I will show in a bit. Um, so again, those questions that asked you signing up, if you're willing to help or if you are looking for help, this is where you're able to find it. And these are people who've been invited but haven't joined. So if you're looking for a friend, you can click it. Um, it's a really cool feature. But yeah, you can go to all and say you're looking for a friend um, that was in your cohort or you know of. You can put their first name, their last name, um, if they were an alumni. And you can also look by, again, the features that you, or the attributes that you put on while signing up. These are all broken down so that you can select. So you can also do by program, um, work experience, and also education. So that's why all these questions are asked in your process of signing up so that we're able to filter these. And it's easier for you to connect with people that have certain qualities or experiences. Um, or backgrounds. So that is the directory. In mentoring, um, so say you're trying to look for a mentor, um, it also gives you suggestions based off of some of the attributes that you filled in. So they have like matches, seeing like who might be a good match in terms of finding a mentor. Um, it also gives a map to see where people are located um, throughout the country. So you want to find an alum that is very close to you, this is a great way. Um, so this is another feature that will help with our mentorship program. In terms of job, this is our job board. So we do encourage you guys to post jobs. If you know of job opportunities, it's a great way to help our alum who are seeking for a job. Uh, so this is what it will look like. But when creating a job, so you're going to just click on post the job. And here you can fill out all the information um, at the end, you know, say you're recruiting, you can put your email down or even someone else's email down. But if it's through application on your site or some type of uh, website, you can put the link in there. So it's a great way. And then you can also put when the date would we'll post the job as well as when it should go down. Say, you know, the application is going to close on the 3rd of June. You can readjust that as well. So that's the job platform. And yeah, we're not gonna see that. Here is our photo albums. So whenever you upload a photo on the feed, so you make a post, it's gonna go here automatically. Um, but there's also albums here where you can add to it. So say you were a public policy fellow, uh, you can add photos here. So all you gotta do is click add. And from there, you're gonna select your photo. Uh, it does say that there's a max size. So if you do have issues uploading, revise the size of the photo. It might be due to that. But again, if you have any issues uploading photos, feel free to contact us. Here are our groups. So if you are looking for a uh, alumni professional chapter near you, um, this is a great way to see how it's broken. Um, so if you live somewhere in Texas, you might, I know Texas is a big state, but you might be relatively close to the Houston chapter or the Dallas chapter. So all you got to do is click on any of them and you will click join. So you will have to wait for approval of the admin. Right now, the admin is broken down by some of the board members in those uh, chapters. So you just click join and you're able to see all of the different features. And so think of kind of like a Facebook group. It's specifically for a region or an area or people with the same 
you know, interests. However, in this in this way, it's based off location. So that's how you can kind of view it. Um, right now we have just by regions of the country, but you know, it might grow into affinity groups or so on in the future, but it's a great way to find people connected to you locally. Events is another uh, feature where we're planning to post more events so you can keep up to date anything that might be near you. So these are more for networking receptions in specific regions um, based off the chapters. So you can also register. Um, they might have links to them and they'll take you to Eventbrite or any other links where you can register. Um, but say like if you live in the East Coast and you're for, for some reason traveling to the West Coast and you wanna see if there's an event, it's a great way. Business directory. So if you do own some type of business, we really do encourage you to um, to uh, use this attribute or this feature to promote it. Uh, we want to see what you've been up to and, you know, try to help spread the word. So if you have a business that you would like to promote, um, feel free to add one. So all you got to do is start and then you fill out all this information. And then admin will receive a message. And once admin approves it, it will show here um, specifically, uh, or just show here, and you can promote it. So one person has put up their business, which is great. And it's a great way to promote your business for other alumni. Here are resources that we plan to continue to update. So right now we have the University Partnership, Lee and DACA resources. So we plan to continue to add to that so you are more up to date or aware of resources that you have as an alumni. And then here on this one, there's just more information and support. So you can see just address information with HCI as well as technical support and submit a ticket. So you can click on either one of these, but also here if you see on the right bottom corner, there's a support question. So you can click on that and you can type in a question. So for instance, let's just say how to edit your profile. There will be some suggestions on how to help. Let's say it doesn't answer your question. You can do contact us and put your information and it will send over to admin so we can get that resolved. Now, well, some last features I want to show. So here is where you can do direct messages. So just like any social media platform, you can message any user. So for instance, I have another account that I can look up and from there start a conversation, attach uh, files on there. And then lastly, I wanted to show uh, how to edit your profile. So I don't have a profile picture right now, but profile will be on the bottom right where you can see uh, here. So the arrow, you can see your set, your settings, edit profile, and your sign out. So for settings, this is where you can change your password, your, your email. You can also connect your account to those other uh, different social media platforms I had mentioned before. Uh, here you can edit your notifications. So if you want to turn off certain pings, you are, can look through it. And then privacy. So there's something that you don't want people to see, uh, you can go ahead and hide it. So you can check on those privacy settings um, so that you can adjust them to however you need them. And then to edit your profile, similar, you click on the arrow and you go to edit profile. So this is where you can change your profile picture. You can change your name uh, and change anything you basically put in uh, when you were signing on. We encourage you, and there will be some reminders to constantly edit these throughout the year. Say if you move or your career changes, we highly recommend that you change this because it will also help us keep to keep up to date with our alum and just have a better idea where everyone is geographically, uh, where they're working, et cetera, any education that you've gotten, professional experience. So this is where you can edit. And then once you make those adjustments, just make sure you hit save and you can click right here so right here if i were to have a profile picture you can click on your profile picture and here you can view your profile and how it looks um so that concludes this platform and uh i encourage you to stay active um, be engaged with others this is a tool to help 
create a community between our alumni, stay connected, post programs. Uh, so I hope you enjoy and please share any feedback or questions. We are super excited to finally launch this. Um, thank you.